catching drones and launching drones from your hand is pretty cool. And my goal today is to make sure you can do it the safest way possible. So let's get started. Remember that every drone has a different wind resistance, in particular this drone. Whether you're flying this or any other drone, you want to know how windy it is. Now that you know how heavy the wind is, the next thing you need to know is what direction is the wind blowing. As you can see the direction that the wind is blowing in, it's always good to have a little telltale. Why? Because now that the wind is blowing this way, literally that way, I can block the wind block the wind with my back that's what i want to do so the wind will hit my back why is that important because if you're ever trying to catch your drone and you so happen to be standing like this into the wind where the wind is blowing then guess what's going to happen worst case scenario the drone can be blown into you into your face into your eyes and you don't want that so always back the wind and protect the drone while you're landing even if the drone does get hit by the wind it gets blown away from you as opposed to into you that's probably one of the major things that you can control and keep yourself safe while executing this maneuver. There are things like flyaways and malfunctions on drones that we have no control over and if that were to ever happen the drone can pretty much go off in any direction that means away from you or towards your face. So if you have sunglasses, a hat and some really good reflexes that can save you a lot of pain, cuts and damage. So bear that in mind as well. A lot of drones, like the Mavic Mini here and the Mavic Air 2, you just can't turn off the sensors at the bottom. You can put tape to block it up, but you know you would have to do that and fly your whole flight without um, bottom sensors for sensing any object. So you don't want to do that. There's a simple and easy way to do it even with the sensors active. And the same thing with the Mavic 2 Pro, we'll do it with the sensors active so that you never have to remember or worry about having to take the sensors off. All right, so let's take off. I want to stand back and keep my hands out as extended as possible. This is the way I want to hold. I want it to rest in the palm of my hand. Very simple, very easy. This drone is very small and easy to put in the palm of your hands. Some people like to hold it at the bottom. I don't do that because if you tilt and you offer resistance, you're putting pressure on these tiny little motors. So just put your hand at the bottom of the palm, try to extend your hand fully out and keep it steady and straight. Right? Of course, I'll turn this way and back the drone. Now you can take off with the sticks or you can take off with your phone. I don't have my phone attached, so I'll have to take off with the sticks. By now you should know how to take your drone off and how to land your drone automatically and manually. Otherwise, you should not even be thinking about doing this maneuver. With that being said, start the drone up. Just keep your hands extended and fully leveled. And that's it. Next, you're gonna take the left stick on the drone See, it's hovering, it's nice. Keep your hands level and just push the left stick up. And there you go. The same thing is going to happen when we're going to land. I'll extend my hands out and let it land in my hand. Now, when the drone is going to come down to land, it will sense my hand and the sensors will automatically tell the drone to rise that's okay just keep your hand on the left stick keep it down and when it senses your hand it rises up a bit it will still come down back and land in your hand check it out the earlier you keep your hands extended the better the drone will see it and sense it earlier right now the other thing is you saw that I spun the drone around a little bit because I was trying to show you the controller but you want to keep your hands straight down right you don't want the drone to spin around the other thing is when the drone when you're landing the drone in your hand this way you always want to keep the drone pointed away from you you never want to land the drone in your hand this way that's just a bad idea because all the controls on the sticks get reversed and then if anything happens and you need to make a move and you push forward to move forward you might push the drone into you so always back up and land the drone this way 
in your hand it's safer it's easier it's better and I'll palm this as well right these drones yeah this one is a little bigger it's a little heavier but you can easily keep it balanced some people again like to hold like this but no you don't ever want to get your thumbs going higher because you move your thumb by mistake it can catch a blade and this one can really really hurt so keep your hands flat at the bottom and just keep it balanced all right let's go we're gonna start up the drone sticks down and in keep it straight there you go and just take the left stick and push up it's as simple as that same thing when you're landing you want the drone to be backing you you don't want the camera to be facing you and it will operate the same way you just push the left stick down when it senses the hand it will move up and then eventually it'll say okay let me land in your hand and we'll come right back down there's no need to turn off sensors and in this particular drone you can't turn the bottom sensors off either so let's land pause for a second and then it landed and that's because i had my hand there out waiting for the drone as opposed to sticking it out while the drone is landing this is the biggest of the biggest this one you can turn off the sensors at the bottom but really it's one more step it's one more thing to remember it's one more thing to do i know it looks big and heavy but it balances very well in your palms look at that it balances very well a lot of people say oh it can tip over yeah it can tip over if you knock it over but your hands are the easiest things to balance keep it nice and straight and then let it take off again backing the wind and this one i will use the slide to take off feature it doesn't matter which one of the mavics you're flying and the same goes for the spark pretty much the same thing i think palm launching and palm catching is the simplest and easiest way to go can't go wrong guys save those fingers don't stick them out keep your palms nice and flat back yourself to the wind and you can take off and land with ease one other tip before i go when all else fails pgy tech uh, landing pad this one is pretty small pretty portable folds up nice and neat and opens up quite simple and easy it also comes with sticks so you can stab it into the ground and you don't have to worry about it blowing away whatever you decide to do when it comes to a drone there's an alternative here for you i hope this video was helpful it gives you some confidence do not practice this if you don't feel confident and remember do not do it in high winds smash that like button till it turns blue if you got some value or confidence from this video make sure you hit subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and if you're new here don't forget to hit that bell icon after you subscribe so you get notified when i release new mavic videos with that being said guys it's hot out there and yes i've got to get back into my car so i'll catch you guys in the next one Big shout out to Autonomous Drone Services and MadMixTube.com for providing us with the equipment to make these videos possible. I'm still giving away six DJI Mavic 2 Pros or Zooms. Head over to my Patreon account, donate a dollar, become a patron, and automatically you're entered to win a chance to win one of six of those drones. Guys, let's make this happen. Come on, support me and help me support you.